Hi guys, Larissa here, and I wanted to stop by and share with you a couple coin purses and pencil purses that I've made using the paper tray ink coin purse die and pocket die uh, sets. And I've used some of the beautiful Prima canvas papers. Um, I just love these and I had been hoarding them and I knew as soon as I got the dies in my hand that I thought it would be fun to use these uh, sheets to make some really fun pencil coin purses. Anyway, I have a couple other sheets here that I haven't um, done anything with yet, but I wanted to share all the different patterns. Um, and these I could spray with my mist, so I can't wait to play with the rest of these sheets and create a couple more purses. Um, this first one is more of a pencil style bag and then I've used um, some of the Prima embellishments, the little bird houses. Love these. And some of the canvas flowers to embellish and I've actually turned this into a little clip um, I just took some felt and then a little hair clip and that way my niece can wear it in her hair or keep it on the bag or use it for her shirt or just do whatever she wants with it. Just an added bonus little thing to have. And then I've created a little pocket um, and I've added some felt detailing to that. And then I wanted these little charms on here for the pull. Um, and added a little zipper and then I've uh, covered the inside of my bag with felt just to create a really soft and more durable bag. Um, and then this one I've altered the die just a little bit. Instead of folding it in half, which was the intended use of the die to look like this, just a little small coin purse, I've actually kept it whole and then uh, just fold it over the top to create a larger coin purse. So this is the intended coin purse size with the die folded in half and I kept it long so that it could be a longer purse. And again, I've used the really pretty Prima canvas sheets and then I've made another fun clippy uh, using one of the canvas flowers and then I've used the butterfly stitch die from Paper Tray Ink to create a coordinating embellishment to go along with my bag and then I've just added the felt and another little clippy and this is an actual pocket with the little lid to the pocket and then the little pocket and I added the embellishment with some sequins and then again, on this, instead of using an embellishment made for embellishing things, I've actually used one of the little butterfly paper clips. And I just folded the end into a loop uh, after I attached it onto my zipper. And it'll make the perfect little zipper pull. And I've also covered this one with felt on the inside as well. And then I also wanted to share with you the pocket idea that I had so that there were a couple layers of pockets. And then with the little coin purse, I've also used felt to line the bag so that it is a double thickness. This is a patterned canvas that I found at Hobby Lobby. I just loved it. My one little niece is just loves animals and owls is her bedroom. So I thought this fabric was perfect for her. And then I also wanted to share with you the Tim Foltz fabric purse I'm working on. And I've used the little uh, metallic stitching for this one. And then I also have this one and I'm going to actually make a small pocket on the inside of this bag. Uh, so I've cut just a half of a panel um, and it will be a divider inside my little bag uh, once I get done. 
but I wanted to share with you the fabric lining. Hopefully you can see the fabric is coated with the uh, interfacing to make it more pliable and so that it doesn't fray. Um, and I've actually found that the silhouette fabric interfacing is awesome. I love this stuff. It covers really well on the fabric. It heats up really nice and doesn't make a huge mess. And it actually works beautifully on the fabric so that you get an even coat um, and it doesn't fray. Um, so with this canvas especially and burlap, you can tell the edges of my bag are held together really well and I used this before I attached my felt uh, lining and I love how I love how wonderful it works um, I found it at Joann's and it was actually on sale for half off when I found it so it was three three ninety nine and this large package I've made probably seven bags so far and I still have uh, enough to do some more. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my video today and Grayson's saying hi. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's went out of focus. It's being silly. Um, but I wanted to stop in and share with you my fun purses and I hope you'll check out my blog for more information and more photos and um, I will be making some more and sharing those as soon as I have them done. So thanks so much for stopping by today. You can find me at larissaheskettdesigns.blogspot.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous, fabulous day.